Uh, Chris Larson, uh, ADOS Sacramento, ADOS California. We are here at the U.S. California <laughs> Capitol, uh, Capitol of California, uh, to for a hearing on ACA 5, which is the Prop 209 repeal bill. This is a bill that would put a repeal of Prop 209 on the ballot for us California voters in November. We are here for the Appropriations Committee hearing. Uh, this is the final committee hearing before the bill goes to a vote on the floor of the California Senate. Uh, we are expecting a positive vote. We are expecting to win this vote today. We won last week in committee. We won the week before that in the assembly. Um, so we expect another win today uh, for ACA 5 and really to put the question of whether or not affirmative action should come back or not into the hands of the voters of California. Uh, Chris Larson with ADO West Sacramento, ADO West California. We are here right now, uh, California Capitol, uh, for the second round of hearings on ACA 5 in the California Senate. These are the Appropriations Committee hearings. ACA 5 is a bill uh, that's right now moving through the California Senate that would put a repeal of Prop 209 on the ballot for us voters in November. So this is a bill that would give us Californians a chance to bring back affirmative action here in the state in November. So that's why we're here. We're here to win. So this is the second round of hearings, um, right? This is the final step before the bill goes to the floor of the Senate uh, as early as tomorrow. Uh, if there's a good verdict and a good decision today, um, the bill can go to the floor as early as tomorrow. So these are the second round of hearings. These are the Appropriations Committee hearings. Last week we went for the Labor Committee hearings and we won there. So from what I hear, um, you know, there's a lot of um, talk about reverse discrimination and how affirmative action is, you know, unfair to uh, particularly, um, you know, for example, the Chinese um, community here in the state of California. Uh, so that's what we hear. Uh, but that's uh, not a good argument. That's not the correct argument. Um, we completely uh, uh, reject that argument. Um, one, this bill doesn't bring back affirmative action. This bill puts affirmative action on the ballot for the voters to decide. Okay, So that's the first point. Okay? The second point why the opposition yeah. is wrong, okay, and very, very wrong, okay, is because if you look at well, the history of, of affirmative action go and you look at yeah. the need that black people have need, right now, in. we We're need specific We're policy, not. specific action, corrective to bring black people where we need to be in the state of California. And we need policy tools to be able to do that. And right now, we don't have the tools to do that. Right now, we cannot say we're going to try to hire as many black folks as possible. We cannot say that explicitly. And because we cannot say that explicitly, we can't do it. And so that's why the opposition is wrong. One, um, join us this Saturday. We have a, a, a town hall uh, uh, Saturday. June 27, 1 p.m. We have a town hall specifically on AB 3121. AB 3121 is the California Reparations Task Force Study Bill uh, that's currently moving through the Senate right now. We're waiting on hearings for the for that bill as well. Uh, that bill passed in the Assembly uh, a few weeks ago. We haven't heard anything about um, when the hearings in the Senate will be scheduled. And so that's the next shoe to drop, um, and we'll be right back here to do the same thing uh, when that bill gets heard. No, no. Um, I would say no. Um, uh, does, doesn't mean that you don't you know, meet with your family and enjoy your family time and enjoy your day off. But celebrating it, no, because that's not really Independence Day for us. 